I want you all to visualize the following sentence. The pedal fell onto the ground. Now, am I referring to the pedal of a flower, P-E-T-A-L, or the pedal on a bike, P-E-D-A-L? This was the focus of my research. I wanted to see what affects our homophone perception, specifically to see if gender affects our homophone perception. In linguistics, gender differences in language are called gender lex. So to test this theory, I enlisted 30 participants, 15 of each gender, and I played a recording of a homophone for them. I then asked them to write the first sentence that came to their mind with whichever a homophone they perceived. So for example, I would play the word sell, and they would write something down like, I sell books, or the prisoner in the jail cell. However, after analyzing my data, the results were not statistically significant enough to prove that gender affects homophone perception. It just happens sometimes. However, I did notice a very other, a different pattern that was very interesting. Females were much more likely to be specific in their responses. For example, they specified what they ate, what was being sold, or who the prince was, and it was often Prince Charming. So the, these results we can see in this graph to the, on the left here. So let's take the first one. Eight women specified exactly what they were eating, while only four men did the same. In most cases, women were two times more likely to be specific in their sentences compared to their male counterparts. So why is this important? Why does this matter? In linguistics, there's a long-standing theory that men are socialized to use language to establish power, while women are, are socialized to use language to build solidarity. And we can see this dynamic on the graph on the right. Unfortunately, this has resulted in women being perceived as linguistically inferior because they don't use language to establish dominance, but rather build community. However, this is simply not the case. Specificity is a linguistic feature that is a positive attribute. We can all benefit from clearer communication. And if we can find positive and impactful features in females' language use while finding the same in males' language use, then it shows both genders can become equal in how they build relationships with others and also how they contribute to society and the world as a whole. Both genders have value, and in different ways, they can both help make the world a better place. Thank you.